Hello. I'm going to show you how I figured out Kitchener stitch without using the yarn needle. Um, this is not a tutorial for Kitchener stitch. I'm not going to explain it slowly, but I will explain slowly how I did it with the needles. Um, so here you can see I already did part of it. And it actually looks pretty nice, if I say so myself, which I do. Um, I was on the bus and I didn't have my yarn needle, but I wanted to keep working on my hat. So at first I tried this crochet hook that I had in my backpack, but um, it didn't really work out because of the size discrepancy. So I figured out how to do it with the needles. Um, okay, so here, I've already worked this one. I worked this one in brown yarn because that's what I finished off with when I finished the knitting. But this one I'm going to work in um, this turquoise yarn, so hopefully that'll show up better in the video. Um, so normally with a yarn needle for this first stitch, I like to go through this one as if to purl and leave it on, and this one as if to knit and leave it on and then start the kitchenering, if that's a verb, is now. Um, but with the needles, you kind of have to th sort of start thinking about it in terms of backwards, uh, so to speak. Not sure how to best describe it, but you'll see. So for the hat, I did magic loop on one set of circular needles. And uh, these are the stitches to be kitchenered up to, I think, that one. So first I'm going to take do my little preparation stitch. So normally with the yarn needle we would be going this way and the yarn would be being pulled that way through the stitch so it's not as if to purl anymore it is at, not as if to knit but literally knit and then all I do is I grasp the needle and pull the cable and kind of get that set of stitches set, pull out, the, I'm going to call that the working needle, and then like I said, I like to, this is the setup, it's kind of windy, so my yarn is being finicky. Uh, normally I would do that as if to knit, so the yarn's going through that way, so what we're literally going to do is purl it but leave it on. So that's the preparation stage and that's over. Um, pull the cable, reset the needle, and pull out the grass, and then pull out the working needle. Okay, so now is where you can start getting into a flow. So with this one, normally the with the needle we'd be going in as if to knit, so we have to purl it off, purl it off. And I like to just drop the working needle and pull the yarn through with my hand. Um, I feel like it's a little bit gentler on the yarn. And then knit this one, pull it through and leave it on. kind of windy. I hope the microphone isn't picking that up, but it probably is. So I pulled the cable needle. I'm ready to move to the back set of stitches and work that one. So at this point, normally we would be... There's our stitch. Normally we would be working as if to purl with the yarn needle. Sorry. Normally we'd be going this way and then pulling this stitch off, so we're going to knit it so that the yarn comes through in the correct direction and we purl it, I mean knit it off. And then purl the next stitch and leave it on. So a way to remember it that I thought of is um, 
that you do what it is second. So what that means is we're about to do a knit stitch. We're about to work this knit stitch so we do the knit second. So you purl first and save the best for last. That's kind of how I remember it. Um, like if your stitch, if your knits and your purls are stitchest and they think they're the best, uh, then they save the best for I'm a knit stitch and knit stitches are the best, so I'm saving the best for last. That's kind of how I thought of it on the bus. Um, so with the back stitch, we save the best for last, so we knit it first because it's a purl. And of course it comes off the needle. Second one, purl. Stays on the needle. So like with any of these sort of tedious cast-ons and bind-offs, um, you can, it is a little, it is I think more fiddly than using the yarn needle, but you, for one, I think the gauge matching so nicely kind of outweighs the convenience of the yarn needle. I don't know, I'll have to, I'll have to do some more trials before I decide that for sure. But um, you can find a rhythm and sort of, especially if you're not out in the wind like I am right now, uh, you can find a rhythm and get into a pretty good flow, I bet. I did on the bus, it didn't, it didn't really take me too long to do that. That's 20 stitches on both sides, on each side. Whoops. So anyway, I don't think that I'm pretty, I'm 100% positive I'm not the first knitter to ever figure this out, but I haven't made a video in a while and I thought it would make a pretty good video. So, um, I decided to do it. And here we are, Kitchenering out in the sand in the woods with needles. Whoops, that one stays. Alright, let's see how far we are. We're not very far. <laughs> That's how far we are. Not bad. <laughs> 